Welcome back guys. I, I'm going to run through my Pico power supply wiring. I had a few comments in uh, one of my other videos of how I'm running my Picos with a server power supply. Which I just got it kind of like laid out right now. I went with the, uh, this Pico because it's got the six pin. So I can wire it right into the uh, server power supply. Instead of having... Uh, I want to say 1.5 plug or something like that and then having to deal with all the plugs um, It does come with this uh, SATA power plug, but I ended up um, disconnecting it Because it can come Disconnected right there. So I don't really even use that but with this um, This is the normal uh, CPU power wire that came with the Pico But knowing this Pico power supply is like 150 watt is what with the chips with the chipset on there I've kind of looked at it and um it is about 150 watts to like 200 they they claim it's like 250 watts but realistically I would say a good 150 watts so that's the 24 pin pico <clears throat> so I can wire all that up but I don't even use this plug so I ended up picking this up this other uh, plug it's a six pin so that plugs right into the peak into the um power the server power supply and then it has the uh, special four pin for the cpu uh power up on the top of the motherboard which is that one right there um with all that if i if i kind of like laid this out quick let me just do this really quick how i have it all hooked up not using that wire I'll just kind of plug this in really quick I'll show you guys how I have it and then I got I'm using uh, parallel miners uh, breakout boards and uh, wires but I still am using uh, their Y splitter which can connect to the um, CPU 8 pin just trying to do this and then power up the Pico power supply. I'm trying to do all this one-handed recording with my cell phone. Yeah, doing my best, guys. Just hold on. Anyways, here we go. But yeah, so coming from the server power supply into a Y splitter, and then from the Y splitter running all the way up to the CPU eight pin, and then the other one right here, the red one. Uh, powers the Pico power supply and then this is the extra uh, CPU 8 pin that could be used for that but um, depending on what algorithm you're running and how many watt how much wattage you're using on your motherboards and stuff like that I, I feel this is just a little safer that way the Pico is getting one uh, can use the full like 150 watts without an issue and you're not like drawing too much power from it granted it doesn't look the prettiest but uh, this Pico power supply picked up I want to say it was like 16 or 18 bucks and then the wire alone is like another I want to say 16 bucks granted all in whatever the heck that is uh, 30 some bucks or 40 bucks but looking at it this way is I can wire hook up everything to the server power supply so that's the way I'm looking at it as and that's how I have all my CPU mining stuff going on right now except for that one uh, give me one second guys so yeah that's basically how I got everything hooked up granted I got the wires tucked behind the board which kind of give you a little shot yeah, I ended up drilling the holes, got these little standoffs, um, missing one motherboard. I'm using it for something else right now. Um, but yeah, it's basically got the Pico power supply, and then I got that extra wire tucked around back. And that's how I have everything hooked up. And that's just basically right here what I'm touching is the power wire coming up to the Y splitter. And then the Y splitter goes to those two plugs right there. And then this is the extra plug that I'm not using that came off the Pico. So, 
that's how I'm getting away running everything on the server power supply for my CPU mining wall. Uh, since I just got in that other Pico, I'm going to end up putting it on this rig to get rid of the ATX power supply. So then all five of these will be running uh, just straight off that server power supply. But yeah, it's pretty much how I have it all hooked up. Each one of them, uh, granted that's still running on the ATX, but yeah, each one of them has its own Pico, and its own separate uh, eight pin on the top. So that's how I have my Picos and the uh, eight pin CPU, eight pin wire hooked up. Um, any other questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching guys, stay tuned.